Okay, we are out of here. It's Friday afternoon, our typical travel day. We're headed towards Cheyenne, Wyoming. Get there probably by Sunday. We're going to just take our time and go, and we'll keep you posted along the way. So that's all we got to say about that. All right. Leaders. Bye. We forget this every single time. It's to extend the mirrors. At least this time we remember it before we started driving. <laughs> now this is the kind of road I like. There's nobody close to us. It's just wonderful. Beautiful weather. Good music. Huh, a car. And the love of my life. Hey baby. made it to the Cracker Barrel in St. Joseph, Saint Joseph. <laughs> in some state. And, oh, he's at Missouri, right? Yes. We first parked at Walmart and we were very friendly asked to not. So went on Campendium, it's an awesome, awesome uh, app, and found the Cracker Barrel two miles up the road allows overnight stays. So there was place. So and to top it off, we get to eat dinner. So it's a good day all all around. All right. So last night when we opened the garage, we found this, and it's a fucking no. It's not a video. Um, this little stand has a whole bunch of stuff on it, and normally we have. It was yellow totes in front of it, but since we cleaned the garage, we had space to put them in the corner. Won't do that again, so. Steven's gonna pick this up, I'm gonna feed the dogs. Grab some breakfast and we're back on the road. Later guys. And when Steven said the wreck fell, I was convinced he was talking about all my oils. No, those survived the travels just fine. We'll see what the damage is. Anything severely broken? All right, we made it to Big Springs. We um, tried to make it to Cheyenne. And while we were driving, I was making lots of phone calls trying to find us a spot from Saturday through Saturday. And well, that was just not happening. So we found a spot in Big Springs. It's a working farm, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, yeah. Gonna park, let the dogs out, and enjoy ourselves. This we got oh, perfect. We got these new wheel chocks, 
So the little rat ones that we used to have, that we had, and then last week with that enormous storm coming through, when we, um, let's walk around. Yeah. That's pretty good. The next morning, <laughs> the wheel chucks were no longer chucking the wheels, which if was fine at this point, but when you're on, um, when you are on uneven ground, I am trying to walk the dogs in the meantime, and they have my legs completely tangled. Hold on, Steven, you want to <laughs> take a video of this? This is crazy. Brenda was trying to walk around <laughs> with the dogs and video, and the dogs had other ideas. Cool. I'll just cut it in two. And... So what you do is you just place them in between the wheels, and these puppies are not going to go anywhere. It'll stop them from going either way. So, safety's everything. What a view. This is what we woke up to this morning. We are staying at McGreer's Camper Park. It's a campground on a working farm in Big Springs, Nebraska. That's how far we made it last night or yesterday. So we are at Wood Hills Cemetery in <laughs> Ogallala. Is that right? Ogallala. Yeah. O okay. It's, I, I still think that's a, the funniest name ever. Um, Ogallaga. So it looks like people started getting buried here in the eight, late 1800s on their way from to the west or getting shot because they lost a hand of cards. <laughs> it really sucks. <laughs> Yay, I won! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's go check it out. Make it down this hill. All right, Brenda's famous trick. She's going to go downhill without falling. <laughs> if she does fall, we'll be able to record it. <laughs> that is not funny. <laughs> But it's true. It is true. <laughs> hey, success. <Woo! laughs> All right. We are going to head up and take a look at what Boot Hill has to offer. How you doing, babe? I'm good. A lot of steps, but... <laughs> okay. Top of Boot Hill. Oh yeah? And what does that mean? It says unknown cowboy, 1882. And they were saying the only parts of the original cemetery that remain were rocks. were rocks and bits of stone that were left along the trail. They've been relocated to this cemetery that's a... So this was advertised on the internet and everything on the internet is true, I know that. So we thought this was a really long street, hope to find out. It starts here and it goes to there <laughs> and it's closed. <laughs> it still looks really, really cute though. That would have been really fun to snoop around in these little stores, but not happening today. Brenda gets to touch grass for the first time in years. Real, Real grass. grass. <laughs> Not St. Augustine grass. That's just weeds. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> We're at the Pony Express Monument in Jules, 
Where are we? We are in... Where are we? Uh, we are in Julesburg. Julesburg, Colorado, just over the border of Nebraska. Little rest stop. Pretty cool. Are you beating him, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can go in there because it's some private property. But these are the remains of um, the Italian underground, is what they call it. There's some caves here, and this old dude built a, for that time, unusual two story houses. What you see there by the tree is the remnants of that. Ooh, that sun is bright. But yeah, there's not, not much here. Not much at all. Behind me, Steven's laughing, wondering what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> 400 feet, turn left toward US 138 East. Woohoo, we made it to Colorado. Left toward US 138 East, then and turn left on the US 138 East. Now we East. flipped our little circle again. And welcome to Nebraska. <laughs> on US 138 East for nine miles. I missed the Colorado sign the first time around, so Steven just flipped around Good for me. Good morning, it's Monday morning, and we have to go back to work. We're still kind of struggling with the internet speed here, so if it is not going to be fast enough or consistent enough, then we will be moving along and see if we can find a campground in Cheyenne now that the weekend is over. So you either see us here next week or you will see us in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and somebody is... <laughs> She normally sits with me in the morning and then she goes to her kennel and wants to be left alone. She's such a turkey. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you see what you like, if you like what you see, sorry, it's still early, um, like and subscribe. And once again, thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.